Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. So on this video here, we are starting to complete and explore 7.4.1 or Act 2, uh, Book 1, Chapter 4. And in here, uh, we're going to start off with this Paradox Debuff Path. So I decided to try and use Corvus because looking at it, um, it looks like there was a few charges. And I still have Suicides on for the moment. So thought with the six star rank three, this could be uh, quite possible still. So as soon as you hit a parry on this path, they gain an armor break and for you to be able to get rid of their passive unstoppable at the start, you have to be able to uh, reach three uh, debuffs on them at some point to gain them paradox charges. So once you hit three on the charges, then um, you remove their passive unstoppable and you can kind of take the fight normally. The way to reduce the Paradox charge, as you just saw then, was to uh, dodge an attack, so if you uh, get the dexterity off an attack, it removes one of the charges look. And the main aim is just to stay away, make sure you do not hit 12 charges or else you will take the damage back. So obviously this is the ramp up fight for Corvus, it's going to take a little bit longer than normal, um, but it's a Hulk Buster, so especially when you've got the, uh, the Glaive active you'll be healing from the armor breaks and the shocks from the special one and doing the crits into crits into them so there i messed up on the paradox and um, thought i had more than i did so now i'm going to hit a parry and that takes me up to five i believe it is because of the armor break and then the armor break from the uh, node itself so now it's just about managing these paradox because once i get it from this hulk buster then i'll be able to start the next fight with uh, i believe it's rogue and then I'll be able to start that next fight with the Paradox Charges already, so that the Unstoppable shouldn't be a thing. There, the handy uh, special free skip button comes into play. And for a lot of these fights, especially if you want to use Corvus like I did, again, you'll see from the thumbnail, I didn't use any revives. Uh, one champion did get knocked out, but there was no revives uh, between this and the boss. I'm not going to include the boss in this video. Uh, I'll put that as a separate video just in case people want to watch that as like a standalone thing. Then they won't have to uh, go through the uh, trauma of watching all of this video uh, just for this this whole path just to see what the, uh, the boss kill was like. So here my charges just come back. I uh, messed up so now I need to parry again. And there you go, I'm back to the more charges that I needed. And we can go again. So Hulk Buster, once he gets to I believe it's 15 or 16 percent will get his uh his regen phase so here i'm just waiting to uh not dexterity or parry a hit just to try and finish this fight off and classic uh, classic me or classic kabam i'm not sure which hulk buster ends up on one percent but there you go 74 hits uh, rank three corvus with suicides no boosts um just getting my first charges so now going into this rogue you have two options. Um, you could use uh, Apocalypse here and start ranking up, uh, oh, sorry, ramping up Apocalypse, then you won't need Cable. So you could bring in then another option for somebody else. And as you can see there, it says Unstoppable on the screen, um, but they're not actually Unstoppable. And again, I take a couple of hits off uh, Rogue here at some point, but even through the block, when you see I'm just hitting the block to try and give them a bit more power and to give me a bit more space, um, it's still a decent amount of damage into the health pools because they are 300, like 400k health pools for the majority of the champions. I'm pretty sure Hulk Buster was over 400. So we're just going to have to manage ourselves here and do that dexterity from the heavy attack. Here I go in to push and punish the, uh, the block and she, uh, she hit me with the special one. Um, as, a, as someone from my alliance uses Rogue. Um, Agent X says that she's a uh, she's OP and she uh, she definitely gave me a good whack there. So that was unfortunate. Uh, here again, obviously the paradox. So just parry, and I get them all back. The good thing about Corvus is obviously with every parry that you do, you uh, place an armor break. So you're guaranteed a few paradox charges anyway. And here I ran out of uh, the glaive, so I'm just trying to take the fight steady now and just be a bit more careful. I do a five, I do a combo here, look at her health and decide, yeah, even without the charges, the special two will do more than enough. And yeah, so that's Rogue now done as well. 
The main reason I wanted to rent them up was for this next fight here against Sentinel. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of fighting Sentinel with a massive health pool. Anyway, as you can see, they look 399,000 HP. So we're going to go into this and again, straight into it with Corvus. Just going to go nuts and start hitting the hitting the attacks, hitting the blocks. Um, the main thing that obviously with suicides is that uh, I am slightly healing. The only thing I do miss is the fact that Corvus uh, currently isn't duped. But again, that would just be a protection from death. And we can kind of, if we're, if we're good enough, we can still get around that anyway. Um, here, just decks in the special two. And because of how many decks it was, I had to lose all the paradox. And there I didn't get enough, so I had to parry twice. But then we eventually clear the unstoppable and we can carry on. I'm not a big fan of these Paradox lanes. Um, I just feel like they give you an unnecessary mission and to try and complete. Sometimes, especially with things like this, where a couple of the specials are definitely gonna take a few dodges. It's just not really that good. And again, there, I probably should have waited another combo before throwing the special two, because I was a little bit ambitious. But yeah, Sentinel goes down. So now onto this Black Panther Civil War. Now, this fight here uh, is the reason why I brought in Apocalypse, just in case uh, Corvus uh, wasn't still standing at this point. Uh, and again, Cable gives me the four generic codes, but if you had used Apocalypse on Rogue, then again, you'd also have that. Because by doing this, it will make uh, sure that Black Panther can't uh, reflect the stun on you after a parry. So I missed the first couple there, don't know what I was playing at. Just sat on the sofa trying to do these fights and um yeah so now it's just monitoring the debuffs and the dexes because once i start throwing the specials he's going to get a few uh, dexterities on them there i messed up with a stun but as you can see and as you've seen from the other parries the apocalypse hasn't been stunned yet so the good thing about it with all, <coughs> all the codes is that that's just the way that works it's a nice little interaction and the main thing is just to make sure you're Pretty steady at either spacing or dexing is special one. Again, now I'm just trying to maintain the paradox a little bit because I know at some point I want to refresh the debuffs and I also want to throw a special one. So to be able to do that, I need to watch out for the paradox charges so I don't just take the, uh, the crazy damage back. And then we go into this Black Panther here still and throw the special one now just to try and really add on all the damage. So as you can see with suicides and the, the extra prowesses and all that lot from Apoco. This Black Panther's dropping pretty quick. Nothing really to worry about. I, I'm specifically trying to do uh, the T5 basic paths, especially on completion uh, where I can, just because I need the T5 basics to be able to rank up a few different other champions that I want to start to uh, learn or use. And I'm not really too fussed about it, but I do now know um, from knowing other people in the Alliance that have actually already completed the uh, the first chapter, what the offers are, and because the offers are 10k offers, my units just about cover it, but I'd like to be in a position where it's a little bit easier, so I'm not going to go for completion until I've explored the, um, the other um, chapters as well, or the other missions. So as you can see here, I go in for a, uh, a bit of a move here with 5% like on Corvus, I go and take this Penny. Uh, the main thing is just obviously to get rid of her shield as soon as we can. So again, managing the combos, if I need to parry her at some point, then I will to get the uh, Paradox back. We're just dodging the special ones here. I make a mistake, I uh, get power burn and lose some of my health. So again, just get rid of that shield as quick as possible. <coughs> A couple of dexterities there. Her physical resistance is very, very poor. Penny has just naturally not got very good physical resistance. So the moment I can, I'm going to instantly try and throw this special two, and it wipes her out. So as you can see, Corvus somehow uh, 28 hits, like 400k HP or whatever it was, just getting rid of these fights. And he's still standing, um, even without the dupe and. Uh, no revives, he's still going strong. Here I just make sure I remembered the, uh, the nodes and I can make sure I put them on the thumbnail and 
include them in the video title, just so everybody can see and uh, hopefully make an, an appropriate assessment. But I'm going to go into Emma Frost here. And yeah, so instantly Dex back, didn't realize how many Paradox charges I had, so now I have to parry to be able to, uh, to get out of the situation. Uh, she's a bit of a, a nuisance, especially because the special one you tend to Dex twice. So if you don't have enough Paradox charges to, uh, to cope with that after, well there I only do it once, I just try to uh, remember my timings because it's been a little while. Here again just hitting the block, trying to do as much damage as I can, got a nice little intercept there. Waiting for her to throw the uh, special one, and as you can see she's now unstoppable. So I'm just going to try and do a few more hits, she starts hitting the block a lot there. She reacts a little bit too quick for my liking and just started hitting my block. Managed to get around the, um, the heavy, and because of Corvus not being duped, this is where he uh, this is where he dies. So we go all the way to the end. Uh, there's only 65k left on this Emma Frost, so I decided to go in with Apocalypse and just finish this off. But yeah, it's not too difficult to fight. Obviously, she says unstoppable, but just take your time. The only thing that is a bit weird um, on this is that normally it says if you parry, they uh, get armor broken. But obviously Emma Frost wasn't getting armor broken. Then I run into a special one, just because I'm not really caring at this point. I know this is the final fight on the path and it's been pretty easy so far. And yeah, it's just a little bit weird how that node works. You're gonna see in a second I go bait another special one out. And do the same thing again, take the first one into the block. Try to push it towards a special one that my debuffs will sit and there you go nice and easy emma frost down between corvus and apocalypse they've smashed it didn't use anybody else and yeah so that's the video done thank you very much for watching